Local author Jerry Boylan's latest book, No Deals at the Pearly Gates, is a memoir capturing his unlikely journey into the business world with plenty of wild stories along the way. And for more on the book, as well as an upcoming fundraiser, Jerry joins us this morning. Thanks for coming in. Chris, thanks for having me. So we're so glad you're here. Give us an idea of what the book's about. So the idea for the book began when uh, you know people my age start thinking about retirement <laughs> and uh, you get a little nostalgic. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and he was uh, reflecting that he'd only had one job. Uh, mm -hmm. His name's John McIndee and he works at Nutrifoods, still works at Nutrifoods. And I thought, one job? And I reflected back and I started counting back to my jobs and I actually started a list. And I came up with 50 jobs. 50? That's impressive. Uh, well, no, it's not really impressive. <laughs> Nobody should have that many jobs in a career. And uh, that really began the beginnings of the idea for the book. And, uh, you know, I started with uh, the very, very first job that I had and then brought it all the way forward. And, you know, I, I have a very unlikely start for business. I don't have a business degree. Uh, my family was not in business at all. And, uh, you know, I had some challenges as a young person uh, with the, you know, product of the 60s with drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. And how I came from there and being nearly homeless to land up doing billion dollar deals and flying around on corporate jets was quite a journey. Uh, and there was a lot of good reasons why I was able to get there and a lot of lessons that I learned. Mm -hmm. And that's what the book is really about is some of those lessons that I've learned and how you really don't uh, you know, have to ha necessarily have a formal education um, and the head start that that gives you in order to be able to have a successful career. Yeah, that does sound like quite the wild ride. Now, you said you wanted to write the book in part because, you know, you're nearing retirement, you start to look back on things, but you also wanted to pass on some of the knowledge you gained. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, and, you know, the stories, uh, it was a very wild ride. And, you know, some of those early, I went from the world's worst employee to hopefully one of the better <laughs> employer employees and then a good employer. And I learned a lot of those lessons from the people that I was fortunate enough to work with. And, you know, really, I, I, I wouldn't have had any success in my career if there hadn't been people that took the time to invest in me. Mm -hmm. uh, and part of that was the ability to uh, not only invest in me, but teach me some of the business lessons that they had. And a lot of it was just common sense. And I also landed up working for some people that just had tremendous senses of humor. So a lot of crazy things happened, a lot of wonderful stories, a lot of warm things. But the lessons are there, and those are the lessons that I hope I can pass on that people will be able to enjoy. Yeah, so is this book then particularly for people who want to get into business or have a business background? Or, I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of humor in it, too. Or is it kind of written for everybody? So the, the goal of the book is to kind of blend storytelling, humor, and leadership. Uh, and the ability to be able to use those in being able to grow and being able to figure out a way then ultimately to be able to make money. Uh, important and what I learned and what what really was the thing that drove my career was being able to find great mentors uh, you know people that were able to help me uh, people like Richard Manugian, uh, you know who's a well-known business person people like Brian Campbell my partner Randy Fenton uh, who was a wonderful guy who taught me some tremendous lessons those are the people that uh, and the lessons that they taught the other part of it in the, the title of the book uh, uh, you know no deals at the pearly gates is that in the end you want to keep your soul intact, or at least as much as you can. <laughs> you uh, want to attempt, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> and uh, that's not necessarily easy uh, in a dog-eat-dog -dog business world. Yeah, now we have to mention you have an event coming up, and it's impressive. You're donating uh, some of the proceeds, or all the proceeds, you can tell us, to Detroit Pal, right? Yes, yeah, so 100% of the proceeds are, are donated to uh, Detroit Pal. Uh, and Pal's an organization I've been affiliated with for 25 years. Absolutely tremendous organization. They have, since 1969, impacted the lives of 350,000 kids Amazing. in the city of Detroit. Anywhere from eight to 10,000 kids a year, all with community volunteers and in partnership with the Detroit Police Department. Mm -hmm. And the stories and the wonderful stories of mentoring, and it really fits in with business when we talk about the mentoring, you know, is how do you, you know, how do you get that first start? You know, who's that coach? And much, much of this happened to me, uh, is how do you get someone who has that impact in your life and get you started down the right path? Uh, and that's what Detroit Pal does. And all the stories, I mean, some of the, some of the heartwarming stories uh, that come out of that from the people who work there, some of the most dedicated, wonderful people that I've ever been affiliated with. I'm proud to be part of their team. So we're doing 100% of the proceeds. Uh, we're having a party down at Pal. Uh, it's 20 bucks, you get a free book. Pizza from Michigan and Trumbull hmm. uh, Pizza, which is the best pizza in town. It is great. Uh, yes. It's fantastic. Uh, and uh, a chance to have an opportunity of a panel with some of the people that I know, some of the local business people like John Snavice, Namish Patel, not-for-profit leaders like Dan Varner and Mike Tenbush, all getting together to tell stories. 
And I should mention they're all in the book. Hey, uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, so that's the goal, uh, is to try and attract as many people as we can to come down, have a good time, uh, and get to know more about PAL. Yeah, it's amazing. Given 100% of the proceeds of the book, uh, it's fantastic on your part. Tell us where people can get the book so they can contribute to PAL and have a good read. So uh, if you go to my website, which is www. Uh, excuse me, www.jerrytales, jerry with a G, dot com. Uh, that's where you can get the book, and there's a place to RSVP for the event also. Fantastic. Jerry, thanks a lot for dropping by this morning. Well, thank you so much. No Deals at the Pearly Gates. That is the name of the book. You got the website there. You can support PAL by buying it.